who is ready for a side-by-side -side comparison of Marc Antoine Boas, Gynamede and Gynamede Extrait. I've got my fingers on a sample, so we're going to see what the difference is. Stay tuned, people. Let's find out together. What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, Michael, Mikey Cologne and if you're tuned in, thank you for doing so people. Thank you to all my subscribers and if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. You're all welcome. Right, you see the intro. Mark Antoine Boas Gynamede. Love this fragrance. Powerhouse. This thing is a beauty, it really is. I ordered Mark Antoine Boas sample pack. It comes with five fragrances. I've got it from their website. Let me just show you. I've got to be very careful with this because I don't want them all to fall out. Let me just... You've got B683, B683 Extract. You've got Enclade, you've got Gynamide, and you've got Gynamide Extract. So that's the sample pack. It comes with... I haven't read this because I've literally just opened it, but it comes with a card with a write up on the back then it, it come with a handwritten note look how cool is that it's just the little touches it really really is but today we're going to focus on Ganymede X-Ray and Ganymede or Ganymede however you want to say it so I'm going to spray Ganymede on one test strip Ganymede X-Ray on the other and we're just going to sort of see or try and pick out to see if there's any differences. So first off, we're gonna go with Ganymede. We're gonna give this bad boy a spray. You do not need a lot of this juice because this is potent stuff. So, lovely atomizer, it really is. Oh, I love the way this smells. I think some people see this fragrance like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. And I love it. I really, really do. It's ozonic. It's leathery. It's a little bit fruity. Gorgeous fragrance. Right. That is Ganymede. Now let's spray the extract version. And let's see what it is saying. two little sprays cool. Cool, that's strong that is strong that is very strong but where I've just sprayed Ganymede it's mixing in with the extrait in the air cool, that's smoky a little bit balsamic, definitely leathery. That immortel is potent in this. God, that is strong. Right, I'm gonna spray them on skin. That is really, really, it's like everything. I don't really get that minerally ozonic sort of tone too much. This is smoky, heavy, dense. The Immortel is coming across very, very dry. I don't really get no sort of fruitiness. From Ganymede, that Mandarin, I think along with maybe the Saffron, sort of gives off this fruity nuance and I am not getting that in this. This is potent. This is, you thought Ganymede was strong. That is very, very, very strong. But I'm going to spray them on skin to see if I can get a better read because like I say, everything's all up in the air. I'm only doing little sprays because 
Otherwise, I'm going to end up choking myself out. And then one spray on there. Just give it a second to settle. Have you tried the new x straight version? If you have, obviously drop a comment down below or let me know what you think about Ganymede. Like I say, I love the fragrance. I do save it for special occasions because the fragrances that I really, really, really love, I don't ever want to get bored of them. So yes, I would love to wear them every day, but I think if you do that, you will get bored of that fragrance after a while. And I don't want to get bored of the fragrances that I love. So I literally wear them, say if I'm going out for a nice meal or gathering somewhere, I save them fragrances for special situations. Right, enough waffling. Let's see what this is saying. Right, Ganymede x straight. Yeah, fruity, ozonic, leathery, a little bit sweet, metallic almost. Oh, that is strong. It is, it's like thick, balsamic. It's got like a burnt, it's like a burnt sugar sweetness there. It's smoky it's dry that sort of curry nuance that i can detect in ganymede it's sort of the spiciness sort of gives off this light mild curry nuance well in the extract that is beefed up so if you found it off putting in ganymede i think maybe you should definitely sample this before you if you even thinking about purchasing it straight off the bat i think that this is going to be a challenging fragrance to wear it's just and i've said it already it's heavy dense smoky there's a sweetness but it smells a little bit burnt very dry I'm also getting something like a herbal tone in the back. And I don't know if Immortel can give off sort of like a herbal nuance, but I'm definitely getting something a little bit green in the back here. Right, let's, let's try and find some notes. I ain't going to lie to you. I prefer the original. I really do. I think... This is a little bit too much for me. I, I know they like to make fragrances that are out there. And Ganymede, for me, is out there enough. But that, the x straight version, people, it is. It's got Ganymede amped up, but the sweetness isn't there. And that ozonic quality that you get in Ganymede, to, I'm not detecting that at the minute. I know it still needs to dry down and change, but I think this fragrance is going to take a while to dry down. I really do. I forgot to mention in the video that the x straight version of Ganymede is very, very salty. Whereas with Ganymede, you get a little bit of a salty nuance. With the x straight version, it is very, very salty. Trust me. Back to the video. This is what I found. Saffron, myrrh, osmanthus, violet, incense, immortel, mandarin, and akigata wood. That's the... That's what I found. You definitely get the immortel... I'm not getting any, I'm, I, I'm not detecting it in the minute that mandarin. Maybe it's my nose. The Akigata wood, yes, smoky. You get the saffron, it's spicy. Right, the myrrh. I said a little bit balsamic. So that must be the myrrh. Osman, for, mm, the violet. A little bit of the violet. Definitely getting the incense. Like I say, people, if you thought... Ganymede was a little bit challenging for yourselves, I would definitely sample the x straight version because 
it's like Ganymede's older, older, older brother. It really, really is. It's just, it's a lot. Like Ganymede is a bit airy. This isn't airy at all, not to my nose. This, to me, is strictly a cold weather fragrance. It really, really is. I wouldn't touch this with a barge pole on a hot day. No way. This is going to be long-lasting, and it is quite potent. So if you want it for that reason, get it. But it is expensive. So people, try and sample it. I think I paid 22 or 23 pound for this five pack sample set so it ain't breaking the bank and the Ganymede X-Stray is a 50 mil bottle and I can't remember how much it is I think it's 250 pound maybe that is a lot of money so sample this before you even thinking about purchasing it people I would right people thank you for sticking with me let me know if you've tried it let me know what you think about Marc Antoine Bois's creations. Like I say, I haven't even tried B683. So I'm looking forward to trying that. But I'll do a video on them another day because I've got the X straight version and a normal version here. Plus I've got Unclade, so happy days. Right, people, remember, spending good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I will definitely see you lot on the next one. Thank you for sticking with me and cheers for stopping by.